media these days usually associates the word terrorist with Muslims and Islam. I think the media is doing that to cover up some other people's issues and problems and what they have done. It uses Islam to make uneducated articles about them and tell people that Islam is the problem and they have been the problem when they are really not and most of the things that the media says are lies. If the person who committed the crime was a white person, the media would call it mentally ill or some other issues but again if it if it is a muslim a dark skin um he would be called a terrorist right away as the graph shows most of the acts of violence in the 20th century and Kanan were made and acted out by uh, groups and killed by Christians or Europeans heritage. Um, there's really, really small percentage of the violence were acted out by Muslims. But the media wants to, you to believe it is otherwise that the Muslims are making most of the problems in the world and that they are the biggest problem and that we should get rid of them or do something about them but uh, there are many other groups that are just as dangerous as extremist uh, extreme Muslims um, and we should be worrying about them too even in Disney movies Arabs Middle Easterns and Muslims are stereotyped um, in one scene of Aladdin, Princess Jasmine saw a starving little boy on the street. So she picked up an apple from a market that was nearby and gave it to the little boy. The market owner saw Jasmine take the apple and she did not pay for it. Uh, although she was a princess, uh, the market owner said he was going to cut her hand off because she technically stole the apple. So when a little girl is watching her favorite Disney movie and seeing a traditionally dressed man uh, from, uh, from an Arab culture saying he was going to cut uh, uh, off her favorite prince's uh, hand, you could imagine how scared a little girl would be when she sees a traditionally dressed Arab man out on the streets. The hate crime charts risen up right after 9-11 and now again right after Trump got in office because he also said many bad things about Muslims just like what you see in the media and it made people think what he said was actually true um, and many hate crimes occurred during the time. It made life very hard for Muslims. Uh, it goes as far as even some Muslim women, women who wear uh, hijab deny jobs and people who are Muslim deny jobs uh, it, you can see how hard it is for them to live right after 9-11 or after the things that Trump said about our religion um, and made it very public so and her, his voters believe what he says not just hate crimes risen up after 9-11 on the war of terror more than 2 million people died. Only about 3,000 people died in the attack of 9-11, uh, but again, more than two and a half million people died uh, on the war of terror and the wars that were justified by 9-11. As you can see here in the invasion of Iraq, all of Iraq's gold and oil was stolen by the United States uh, in, in 2003 when they invaded them so not just the country it had many civilians who just died for no reason also their all of their money was stolen so they had no money whatsoever to get started back up and make the country better after the war until this day they are struggling media does that kind of uh, portrayal is uh, i think uh, uh, there, is, there is some 
obviously media we know that is a business uh, you know so if you want to run a business every day you got to have some news uh, to present it to the people uh, and uh, yeah i think uh, i think there is a driving force behind the media which is uh, probably the the company who who owned it uh, and uh, misunderstanding of our religion and they only most of the time they only quote whether from muslim person speaking or the quranic verses speaking they co and they make a multiple version of it and every media can present it that way they can market it uh, to the uh, to the general body or to the to the entire nation i said i was a, i was a university student uh, actually some funny thing happened before uh, 2016 election it was a, it was a, i'm a MSA Muslim Student Association mem board member at the university. So uh, what happened on campus was like uh, we have our panel, which is like uh, adver we advertise MSA on the board. Uh, there is a Washington Bridge which connects the West Bank and East Bank on, on Twin City campus. So we have our MSA advertisement, everything inside there on the on there. So someone vandalized it. They they wrote actually ISIS on it. Which is a big thing for, for the for the campus and the hatred, you know. So in that kind of feeling, actually, I'm being bored of the member. Is uh, uh, you feel something something wrong with the people, the way people understand. But in our religion, we have a, uh, we have a great uh, book which is uh, Quran. It it advises us uh, in that kind of situation what kind of things we have to do. Uh, people does do that kind of thing is depending for many reasons. One of the reasons it could be a knowledge. People don't have a knowledge. Uh, some people probably get a knowledge from the media. So that media, the way they understand from the media, they think that's right, which is 100% that's wrong, the way they understand from the media. For that kind of thing is people do that kind of bad stuff. And it also it makes you, uh, as a person, it, it, it makes you to question yourself about your religion even by yourself. The way I, I understand Islam is uh, we have uh, steps and rules and the path we follow. Um, the first uh, example we follow is uh, we're trying to be uh, follow the Quran. The Quran it teaches us uh, there is also pillars of Islam, which is five. So people, actually, a people who does those five five pillars of Islam would not like. It is they don't they we we we, we think as the right people because like. Uh, Muslim uh, Islam taught us to be a nice to your neighbors, uh, be respectful to your elders, and respect anyone who are financially or anything or mentally in need. We are supposed to be supported. That's what we can advise us. If I see as a Muslim person something went wrong to my neighbor, I should go to the neighbor and ask them. It is my responsibility as a, as a, as the Quran teaches me and as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He also taught us about being a nice to our neighbors and uh, be a good uh, in general. I mean, not only to to anyone, to anyone, even to the trees and the plants. We should, uh, I mean, uh, give them the right, uh, the right, and uh, uh, be respected in the way they are supposed to be respected. But for any kind of situations that uh, that that is happening through the media i think what people should do is uh, after they heard the news they should ask about ask themselves or find another researches whether think the thing happened was true or not uh, i i would advise uh, my fellow like fellow citizens and other people i think they should uh, do a deep research and ask their friends who have who has more connection about the, uh, what is going on uh, if they face that, that kind of uh, uh, if they heard it, that kind of news. So I, just, I suggest when anyone sees something like that in the news, you should always research and make sure whatever going on is actually true and not just judge anyone right away based on what you see on the news. So just make sure the things that you hear are true 